Hey everyone, Izzy and MJ from Endless RV, and we have a RV industry update here. We do these every month. Before we get into it, we do want to remind everybody, we've had many subscribers reach out to us and tell us they have been unsubscribed without them knowing, and it's happened multiple times. We literally have hundreds and hundreds of people that have told us this, and thousands of people that have resubscribed. So, we just ask you to take a second, go check if you are subscribed, even if you've been unsubscribed before and resubscribed, check because people get unsubscribed multiple times. So let's get into this. This is from rvbusiness.com. It is dated March 25th, 2024. And the headline is RVIA shipments post fourth consecutive monthly increases. And the reason why we're doing this is obviously to give you the numbers, but also we had, there was another video that came out by National Indoor RV Center that I think is a much better prediction of what's going on in the market. So the results from the RVIA February 2024 survey of manufacturers found that the total RV shipments for the month of February ended with 31,024 units, which is an increase of 17.8% compared to the 26,326 units shipped in 2023. Now, Craig Kirby, as always, the very positive, he puts a positive spin on everything. He said this report marks the fourth straight month of increases as RV shipments continue to make a moderate recovery, putting us on track to meet ITR economics forecast of 350,000 shipments for 2024. Spring is officially upon us and our latest survey shows over 26 million Americans plan to go RVing this spring with over 14 million planning to make RVing part of their travels to view the upcoming solar eclipse. Who's what? Put in the comments below if you're gonna be watching that. It's now, very popular right now. Now we've talked about, there's a difference between RV shipments and then RV sales, which are usually come a couple weeks after the shipments numbers are released. We did do a video talking about the January retail sale registrations which is the sales, we'll link that above. And January 2024 was actually down 19.2% for registrations, sales, what really matters. Mm -hmm. NARVC, National Indoor RV Centers, the uh, president there, Brett Davis, who's a finance background, a banking background, and they have to do their projections to stay in business, essentially. So he did a very, very detailed video, about 46, 47 minutes, a lot of information in there and how they project every year what their budget's gonna be, how they're gonna buy motorhomes now. The thing is with NRVC, they only do motorhomes. Mm -hmm. But we'll get into that a little bit later. So let's get into some of the numbers here, guys. We'll talk about the, the trailers, towables, which of course are the most popular, and then the motorhomes. So for travel trailers, uh, the February 2023, to February 2024, there was an increase of 31.9%. That's a big one. And then for fifth wheels, we had an increase from 23 to 24 of 3.8%. Then the other, we have folding camping trailers and truck campers, were, which are a very small sector. The folding camping trailers decreased 0.6% and the truck campers were down 5.8% from February to February. Now let's get into the motorhomes. You had type A's down 26.5%, type B's, class B's down 24.6%, C's down 0.4, all motorhomes down 12.9%, and then total RV shipments up 17.8%. But when you look at everything, what's really carrying this is to travel trailers, tra really right. travel trailers, because fifth wheels are not, everything else is down. All the towables from February to February, 24.4% increase. So that is big and it is carrying pretty much every sector of this. Now, going back to that uh, National Indoor RV Center's video that we talked about, Mr. Davis doesn't agree with the RVIA's shipment predictions. He thinks they're way off. And he also showed how their 2023 projections were much more in line than with what RVIA was predicting. But a couple of just key things, and he did such a good job, and I'm just gonna kind of, a couple little bullet points, and then we'll reference the video down below and you can go watch it. It's definitely good information. Some of the important things that he talked about is, is just a surplus of inventory. 15.1 months, which is definitely not optimal. And you know, I went on a couple of websites. Lazy Days RV still has several motorhomes of 2022s. 
still, they got a ton of 23s, but they still got 22s. There's a couple of key notes that he put on there, and, and what they're predicting is that the market's not gonna bottom out till early 2026. So what does that mean for you or anyone that is looking to purchase a motorhome? Now is the time, and Brett Davis made this very clear in his video when he was explaining all this, that the prices and with, with the amount of inventory that's out there, this is not 2020, 2021, 2022. This is a different time. And if you're looking to purchase, now's the time to do it. The the retail prices are, are not gonna go down, right? If you want the motorhome, the same motorhome you're gonna get in 24, 25, it's just gonna be much more expensive than it was in 2020. However, manufacturers have responded building lower cost motorhomes, but you're gonna have a much better chance or the best chance for getting a huge discount just because there's so much inventory. It's still a buyer's market mm -hmm. for, for quite some time. So here, there's some four points that he brought up. Mr. Davis's four points. Number one, the motorhome market is clearly overbuilt across all classes, which means this is a buyer's market, as we said. And we, we talk about overbuilt, but not like overbuilt, like in quality, there's, there's too much supply. Number two, the best time to buy a motorhome is when the market is the most overbuilt currently. And we're currently, right. we're currently seeing this with, uh, if you see the car market, yeah. I Blue know Stellantis and... just fired a ton of people, yeah. apparently over like a Zoom meeting, they fired a bunch of people. But you know, the trucks that were out there, that were, you couldn't get them, people were paying them over MSRP. Now they're discounting so much, even though they were so expensive, they're back down with huge discounts, and like the Chrysler is crazy. The lots are flooded. just filled with them. Number three, the motorhome market hasn't been this overbuilt in over a decade, and then before there's no more blood to give, the entire supply chain is losing money. And we heard this from another person that has nothing to do with NRVC that told us when we're at a show that the both the dealers and the, like the manufacturers are they're razor thin at this point. They're trying to help out the dealerships with rebates and just really not making much money at this point. Now, obviously interest rates are up. A lot of people are just not spending money and, and this is the result. However, if you do have the money to spend, if you've been looking for an RV, a motorhome, if you've watched our other videos, the one we did in 21, when we said this was not a good time to buy an RV, wait, 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 we're there. We're at the point there in the next, you know, 12 months, months where it is yeah. ripe to get a really good deal that you might not see that big of a discount. These cycles, they go up and down, right? You might have to wait another six, seven years before it's a buyer's market again. But you definitely, as we always say, you want to be careful when you're purchasing. You don't want to just hop right in. You want to do your research, but know that you will get a better deal than you did a couple years ago. And of course, always get a qualified third party inspection. And we love Mr. Davis. When we spoke to him in the past, he encourages that. In just a few short months, it came around so quickly, we'll be heading down to uh, Nashville, actually Lebanon, Tennessee for the National Indoor RV Center's Music City Motorhome Expo. That's a mouthful. We talked about this many times, but we're gonna be down there. It's very exciting. This is gonna be kind of a, a, not a meetup, but we're going to be there. We're gonna be able to spend time with everybody that is going to this event, and it's going to be the unveiling of the 2025 model. So usually this happens in, in uh, September at Hershey, the Hershey show, but this will be happening in June and we will be there. So this is going to be a VIP buying experience. We cannot wait to go. We're gonna put all the information down below if you are interested. In the comments below, let us know what are the RV dealers look like around you? How's the inventory look? I know we're going to a dealer this week. In a couple days, yeah. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be flooded. And if you like videos like this to the left of us, we'll put our RV tourist playlist, we'll put our RV news playlist, and for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you on, on the road. road.